Well, remember the show that came out on Disney Plus and a majority of the users or subscribers to Disney Plus just don't have interest in it? Why you don't like the Acolyte? It's not that the show is bad. No, it's everyone is review bombing it. Well, I haven't seen anything like this before. Or wait, wait, wait. We see this every single time a show that pushes the DEI into the show and tries to go that direction and makes it about something that it totally isn't and completely segregates the uh, the audience into wanting to watch a show from a well-written studio and they push the agenda first instead of making it about the show and about Star Wars. No, the Acolyte has gone beyond that. Many errors in the show, many things just poorly written and now the CW version of the Acolyte, apparently it's failing because it's your fault, not because of the actual stuff that's going on with it, because nobody wants to have this stuff shoved down their throats anymore. Well, before we get into the article, do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel. I can't emphasize this enough. Subscribe. That's, we need to grow. Uh, no one hates Star Wars more than those who claim to be Star Wars fans. Sure, the past few years have given the fandom pretty of, uh, plenty of critique. The sequels splintered the fan base beyond recognition. The sequels were up and down. Uh, mostly what happened with Jar Jar Binks is what people didn't like. They changed it and then they came back to something more. And it's now everlasting. It, it's not nearly as bad as a lot of people thought it was going to be in the long run. In some cases, criticism is inevitable. Not everyone will find something to like in a franchise recent output. At a certain point though, the discourse reaches a fever pitch. And even Lu Lucasfilm, most promising projects get swept up in the drama. The Acolyte is not the first Star Wars project to face the brunt of fan backlash and likely won't be the last. Its new live action series, also one of the best editions in the galaxy. Oh, it's the best edition, you know, continuity. Every little detail has been completely railroaded away from the viewer at this point viewers are uninterested if you go back to my previous video you can see there is no hype around this this is absolutely doing nothing it also might be the most diverse star wars story yet whether you know them as the fandom menace or a cluster of blue check marks users on twitter it's impossible to escape their orbit the same folks that review bombed diverse swings like marvel's eternals which was an absolute dreadful show, and the Lord of the Rings prequel, The Rings of Power, which went completely off script, um, now sets their sight on the accolade. To hear them tell it, the series is the worst thing that has ever happened to Star Wars, and the showrunner, Leslie Headland, is just the fiendish as Lucasfilm's president, Kathleen Kennedy. To them, the Acolyte's woke agenda is something to be feared, and it's ruining Star Wars, it's poisoning pop culture itself, it needs to be stopped by any means necessary. Well, here's the thing, we fell in love with Star Wars, we absolutely fell in love with it. We wanted something more, and now what we have is the accolade. No one want, wanted this. No, and people want these stories to be expanded, but they want them to be what they were, not what they believe they're going to be. This push down this diverse situation here of Star Wars has completely turned it on its head. It, it doesn't make anything that people are connecting with. No one is connecting with these shows anymore. It, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't have the same buildup. It doesn't have the same atmosphere. It just goes along the wayside and you take a beloved IP and you completely shit on the fans, especially in articles like this. It's the fans that are saying no. It's the, the people that are being introduced to this are just saying this is garbage. Nobody, most people don't like these CW shows and that's the problem. We realize how ridiculous this all sounds. Anyway, it's not outright shocking to see something the accolade marred by racist, misogynistic, and even anti-LGBTQ backlash. Well, the Star Wars devotees would share multiple bad faith trustee treaties 
about the series on YouTube or tank its audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. I can tell you right now, most of the people that are looking at Rotten Tomatoes aren't aren't adding to it. Most of the viewers are also not adding to it. They're just sitting there laughing at it because it gets tanked. Nobody, I don't believe people are actually going out of their way to do these things, especially when you have like 5,000 reviewers of it. You, if that was the case, you would have millions of reviewers of it. You would see it completely get ratioed, completely gone. Not just a few thousand people that really dislike what's going on. Okay, well, let, let, let's take a quick peruse on this. Star Wars, uh, The Acolyte on Rotten Tomatoes, 26%. 5,000 plus ratings on uh, Metacritic. It's got a four on IMBD. It's got a 4.4. And if you even go to the trailer, the trailer has 231,000 dislikes. I don't think it's a few minority people. I don't think it's just in one place. People don't like the show. Here's the actual problem that these people are saying. The problem is that nothing has changed. In 10 years since the vocal minority suddenly cried out against diverse casting and more nuanced storytelling, they've yet to actually learn their lesson. The arguments are bleeding into even the casual discourse surrounding Eaculate. Comments on the set and screenwriting have turned into misogynistic microaggressions against Headland. Even critiques on the series have been weaponized by its haters. The show sucks. It, it, it's been written very poorly. It People getting, you know, Jedi Masters being stabbed with a knife, dying. People getting lightsabers through their bodies, living. Um, there's a lot of inconsistencies with the show. There's a lot of things that people just don't like with the show. And... Part of that direction was what Kathleen Kennedy first set up a long time ago with the forces female. And now that's coming to fruition and they're now reaping what they sow. They put out something that people didn't want and they're losing the audience. They've lost the audience at this point. The audience is just, nah, I'm done with this. Wow, this, this article just doesn't stop. They're pulling at all the strings. The origins of the toxicity aren't difficult to figure out. At the end of the day, it boils down to entitlement. Many male fans feel like they own the franchise. Makes it hard for desperate groups to coexist and even harder for any non-white, non-male creatives hoping to tell stories within the franchise. What kind of garbage article is this? I don't even know who these guys are. I've never heard of them before. This is what we get for letting IPs like Star Wars go into the hands of Disney. Eventually we knew this type of garbage was going to come out of Disney. And of course we have the media completely defending it. Whoever these, this article that I, I happen to find, it's absolutely junk. And this, I, I, you know, I don't blame them because this is what we were expecting. This is just another step in the failing franchise that Star Wars has become. Anyway, I'm your product name, Phoenix Cine Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.